So we are back with the Conquer on my one year update. This is the performance or like the just the machine operating in a way. So I'm going to do like these rolled oats that I sprinkled on the ground. It's just uncooked oatmeal packet, like a single serving one that I sprinkled on the ground. So you guys can see um, those of you, which I've already kind of done like a pickup video of when I first got it, which was more of like an introduction to it being in my house. But this is like a one year update. And this, by the way, has not been um, uh, serviced or anything. Um, I've considered it just because um, this actually has the servicing on it for a, a select amount of time, whereas my XL21 has 21 years. Um, I know it has at least a 21-year warranty. It might be too far gone to have like the servicing done on it. I'd probably have to pay for that out of pocket. I, for some reason, thought that it had 21 tune-ups, but I'm pretty sure it's like a 10-year tune-up and 21 year warranty on it. But, um, back to the drawing board. Um, this is kind of like a test. Mind you, this is a thicker pile carpet and it's kind of like a multi height carpet. You can really tell right here. There's almost like a, Oh, that's my washing machine. Um, there's a Berber style almost right here. And then there's like a higher pile. So it's almost like driving across um, like a bump strip in your car. So almost think of it like testing to see like how it's able to handle handle like the different grooves and like territory and things. So the, um, the brush is actually going to be operating on like two different heights of carpet, um, which is kind of harder for this vacuum because it is so lightweight and it just kind of... Um, floats in the back. Well, no, it doesn't. Um, it kind of floats on the carpet in the front, but as soon as you push forward with the auric, it kind of pushes itself down into the carpet. Um, so that's just the way that it's cleaning. Oryx are typically all have always cleaned like that. Um, and one thing that I will say before I start with an Auric, um, the Conquer and the 21 and like your Forever Gold and your Auric Insight and I would even say like the Auric Axis um, and the Platinum and the Platinum Pilot and maybe even the Aviators, they all have the same power nozzle. The Conquer's a newer design, but they all, the other ones that I mentioned, have the same power nozzle, whether they have a swivel neck or not. And they all perform really, really well. Um, they're not going to be able to pull um, dirt under, like underneath the carpet. I have some vacuums that will pull flour or powder and things first pass right from underneath the carpet, like my Kirby and my Maytag and my Ricard Supralight, even which is a little cheaper than this machine right here, but <clears throat> or clean home centers are more common. Um, Parts are readily available for them for you to kind of do your own servicing if you really want to go that route. They're a little cheaper to have serviced, I personally feel. And um, they're still built really well. And I think that their materials are a little bit higher end than the Ricars because Ricard kind of made their vacuum like a pound lighter than the Oryx. Oryx are like nine pounds. Ricars are like eight pounds. Um but they still have some really nice features too. I have a Ricard and I love it. And I think that it performs a little bit better for deep down cleaning. And for deep cleaning, it's one of the only lightweights that I would honestly say actually deep cleans. This one's a close third. My XL21, I think, does a little bit better. Um, but I think that that's the power nozzle design, whether they have the same motor or not. But overall, if you do buy this vacuum, just to answer your question... I do think that it'll keep up just fine for wall-to-wall -wall carpet, for area rugs, for whatever. Stop it. For whatever you happen to have in your house. Um, hard floors. It has the floor or, or the hard floor setting right up here, so you don't have to worry about not being able to um, clean like certain parts of your home because there's no um, upholstery way or like there's no 
way to clean your hard floors. There is a way to do it that way. But yes, if you do want to clean upholstery and stairs and things, you will probably have to buy a good power hand vac. And I would recommend one with a cord. So I will put this up. And I don't know how well you'll be able to see this. Maybe I should just... Oh, that would be a good angle. Just a second. I'm going to pause. Okay. So now I'm back. That's a, as good of an angle as I've ever gotten in this sort of demo. I don't want to hold it at the same time. Um, so the only unfortunate part is you can really only see to about here. And I guess that's pretty much all the, the oatmeal that's on the floor. But I think this gives the most real world view because I'm not going to, I'm just going to vacuum normal speed. I've been accused of vacuuming too fast before, so I need to redo one of my videos. Um, people will find whatever they want to critique your video on and say, you know, that you did a versus video with another in favor. So this is low speed. It did a pretty good job. A couple pieces flicked out. Flicking a couple pieces over. slow start and because of that it'll also do like a slow transition from speed to speed and you can see there I opened this one window behind the camera because I thought that it would um, be able to show um, the carpet lines a lot better and it looks like it has so it did a really good job and I did go over some areas a couple extra times um, just because um, there were a couple pieces that were flicking up because, like I showed in the first video, because of the belt, there's a good inch and a half to two inches of area that's not being cleaned. So when you just pretty much run it over just with the plastic bottom of the vacuum that's not being touched by the brush, it's going to flick some pieces rather than clean them. And the same goes for um, the edge groomers. The edge groomers don't have anything except to kick stuff out, and they're mostly designed for bare floor use. But the same principle goes along with that. Those edge bristles or the edge cleaners will just kind of run over those pieces of oatmeal and flick them up into the air and kind of flick them even back over onto some of the places that I had already vacuumed. I don't know if you could see that in the video though, but it does a really great job for one and orcs have a really high speed brush roll. So that kind of creates airflow and a cleaning action in itself, not just the brushes, but they generate air by themselves like anything would moving fast. Um, so that's really great too. Um, orc brush rolls are also relatively inexpensive to buy and have to put on your machine to replace them. Uh, I wouldn't really recommend doing it myself. I'd still take it to a clean home center, but that's probably why you should buy one from an Oric clean home center or an Oric store. That way you know that, you know, if you were willing to drive that far in the first place, 
keep in mind that you'll probably have to drive that a couple extra times during the time that you own the vacuum just to keep it serviced and maintained. Um, overall, though, this vacuum does a really, really good job. Um, it, I do feel, is a little expensive. You may be able to find it on the sub $500 range, but I do think that it'll last quite a while, too. And if it were to ever need anything, anything, if anything were to keep this vacuum cleaner from running or turning on or working properly, you don't have to worry about, oh, is the part going to be available? Is it even fixable? Um, yeah, it is. They can replace anything on this vacuum. They really can, whether it be bu buying that specific part or if the part can't be bought individually, like if the zipper broke off, maybe they don't have zippers on hand, but they can buy you a new bag for it. Um, that's the nice part that each part of this vacuum is assembled um, that way and they kind of will continue to have like spare parts available. You can't call up a shark store and tell them your problem and bring it in and have someone talk to you one-on-one -on -one, or even Dyson for that matter or Hoover for that matter um, or Eureka or Bissell or um, even Kenmore's. Um, you just can't have that done. So that's one of the reasons that I really like this vacuum. I know that there's like that peace of mind having it and knowing that if anything were to go wrong, well, you know, all I have to do is just take it to the Oryx store and they'll fix it or um, they'll do whatever it needs to have done to it. Um, one thing that I forgot to mention was on the back of the vacuum, um, there is a little zipper. You could probably stuff a spare bag in there, but that's mostly for like your manual. So it's in there when you do and have, have this go and, um, or take this to have it get um, serviced and things, which they already come with a service plan. I've never had an Oryx serviced before. I don't think it's really cheap. For some reason, I feel like it can run you upwards of like $100. I used to think it was 50 but I'm not sure because like I said, I've never had one serviced before. So... The fact that this one, I believe, comes with five tune-ups, that could be $500 right there in itself. But there are like some gaskets and things that have to be replaced on the inside. And typically the brush roll needs to be replaced too um, because that's what does most of the cleaning anyway. So with all those in mind, <clears throat> I would rate this pretty highly. I would say that this is a solid um, 7.5 out of 10 on cleaning scale um, and probably like a 10 out of 10 on owner satisfaction. There's really not a lot to break on it. So, um, and it's not necessarily just geared towards elderly or someone who needs a lightweight upright. Sometimes it's perfect for like moms and dads who have kids that run around and you just want something to pull out that's light and you don't really need a hose. So this is really good for like even bigger houses with like wall-to-wall -wall carpeting. So it really, the way that they design these Oryx, it really fits into a lot of people's lifestyles if you're really looking for one. <clears throat> and I don't own, um, or I, I don't own, Jesus. I don't um, support Oryx. Um, they don't pay me to do any reviews. I bought this myself. Um, it's on my Amazon account you know, with like my card information and everything. So you can't really say that I was paid to do the video and um, nobody asked me to do this video either. I was actually going to do a different video today, but I decided to just do this because it's a vacuum I haven't done my one year update on yet. <clears throat> but I usually lay it all down when it comes to the one year update. Um, is there a better vacuum that I would recommend over this one for you to look at? For direct air, I don't believe a lot of people who are looking to buy this are like, hmm, I really am looking for a direct air machine. I don't think so. I think that they're mostly just looking at the name and the the uh, the features, and they probably just happen to pop into an Oric store, and they probably heard of Oric before. But um, I would say you could probably check out like a, a Mila Upright. Um, you could probably even get one with LED lights and maybe a couple extra tools or maybe um, a couple other things that may co might come with it, but it's going to be heavier. Um, it does have onboard tools, but again, it's going to be heavier. 
It has swivel neck. There are some uh, filters that have to be replaced on it. Well, one, actually. Um, and they don't really need tune-ups, but they still can be serviced. So, Amila, you can buy, you do have to buy a filter for, like a HEPA filter, which I've seen them as low as 40 for a genuine Mila HEPA filter, and all the way up to like 60 for um, a Mila HEPA filter. And then the bags are a little cheaper, but I don't think that Mila bags hide smell or filter smell or even their filters filter smell as well as these Orc bags do. And I think it's because they put several layers of filtration inside these bags. So, again, another big plus. So, but more than likely, if you go to an Oraclean Home Center, they probably sell Mila's there anyway. Because I've, very, I've never been to an Oric store where they've only sold Oric. Even when it says Oric outside. <laughs> so, um, anyway... Thank you for watching, and if you guys have questions about this or any other vacuums on my channel, let me know, or any video requests, let me know. And uh, stay tuned, and stay safe, everybody. <laughs>